I wanted to point out this is a successful print. I figured out all the problems with my um, memory. It was actually the battery management, which I had switched and hadn't realized it was causing my computer to shut down prematurely. So, um, very nice. This is the FIFA trophy, and I'll give you the thingy number on Thingiverse. And then this one is a chainmail piece that I'm printing out now. And I want to tell you, you know, we had a little discussion about um, different types of plastic over at the Robotic Society meeting. And this is PLA. And I'm using it because the, um, you know, the smell isn't as bad. You don't have to heat it to as high a temperature. You can use it without a heated bed, which this does not have a heated bed. I would highly recommend a heated bed because um, I will show you it is a little bit difficult to take off if you don't have a heated bed. Also, I think the heated bed reduces the amount of shrinkage um, that the plastic um, experiences as it is um, cooling down. So it, it sort of makes it, you know, allows it to form before um, the temperature causes it to shrink. But uh, so far so good, and then we'll see whether this actually um, can break open and uh, um, apart as, as we would want chainmail prints to do. Okay? And you throw it inside of the dirt. Break them recording. Okay, and we'll throw it inside the dirt. Don't make my mouth. Okay, there we are, it's finished. I'm wondering how much uh, breaking apart we have to do, but let's see. Now this is where you get to see why you want a heated pattern. Because, okay, two hands to open the knife. Because it uh, doesn't just come off like that. Um, I think it's a lot easier with the heated pattern, but without it, you can, um, you pretty much have to pry it off. But you try not to damage the bottom, of course. So, there, you've seen it. And this is pretty hard. And I'm going to put the camera down so I can do it now. Okay, this is not building well. Everything's breaking, even as I try to take it off. So I think that with this PLA, I don't know that you really necessarily get any strength in the model that you make. might be... Um, interesting to look at, but um, I wouldn't plan on strength. Okay, there it is. Now it looks kind of like a block. And I am going to figure out how to take this apart. I wonder if I can do that and film at the same time. Possibly not. Okay, this is not working out very well for PLA. Everything's breaking as I try to separate the links. And uh, they're kind of almost all really pretty tightly fused so I thought I would be able to just kind of nudge it but it looks like I would have to the, kind of cut between these notches and then on the back even do something similar but um, it's uh, not lending itself well to doing that I think it's just an experiment um, use it as such and glad I didn't print a bigger one